In this video, we're doing open and closed rolls. Coming up. Hi, I'm Kevin Zahner, and if this is your first time watching Rhythm Notes, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today. Open rolls refer to the open double strokes versus the closed strokes. An open double stroke versus more of a press roll or closed buzz roll. Both types of rolls can be categorized in terms of how many strokes it takes to make the roll or the rhythmic structure of the roll. And there's actually a PDF in the description below that shows you some exercises and, and three different examples, including the five stroke, uh, the seven stroke, and the nine stroke rolls, which we'll show you here today. The five stroke roll is literally five strokes. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. So the structure would be one and two, one and two, or uh, one E and, depending on how the rhythm is, is laid out, but let's just stick with the simple one. One, one and two. And notice that I'm playing really open and high. These are rebound strokes. If you haven't seen the rebound stroke video, uh, I'll link it up here in the card. It's also gonna be in the description below. But these are rebound strokes as opposed to control strokes. You want the rebound to come up on these open rolls. Example one on the PDF, it's one and a two and three and a four and one and a four and one. Now, I also represent those rhythms as 30 second notes because that's what they are. The third measure in those examples are just another way to notate the five stroke roll. Now, you can play five stroke rolls on the downbeat. One and two and three and four and. Start out with your right, start out with your left, right, left, right, left. It's just important to know how it fits in with rhythms. When it comes to closed rolls, you do the same structure, you just have to press the strokes. And to press the strokes, you wanna maybe pinch a little bit more with your fulcrum. So it's really just a matter of pressing the strokes. And you can do that for all of these different rhythmic structures. So we're gonna continue with the seven and nine stroke rolls, explaining it in terms of open rolls. Two, the seven stroke roll is two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. So one E and a. Uh. 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 E uh. If you start the doubles or the roll on the downbeat. As noted in the example two, it's the check pattern is one E and a uh, two and three E and a uh, four and one E and a uh, two and three E and a uh, four and. The check patterns are really important because often the rolls are notated as they are in the third bar. So if you don't know what a, a roll, a nine stroke roll looks like or a seven stroke roll looks like rhythmically, it's gonna be hard for you to count it or um, just know how to fit it in that space. The seven stroke also fits well with triplets. If you have uh, triplet release, triplet release, those would be seven stroke rolls. The nine stroke roll is a similar idea. It's just you're gonna follow through all the way to the next beat. So one E and a two and three E and a four and one E and a two and three E and a four and. I'll do it one more time. One E and a two and three E and a four and one E and a two and three E and a four and. Okay, so you could do 11 stroke rolls, 13 stroke rolls, long rolls. Where maybe you're doing three or four bars of rolls. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Release, you know, maybe it's a long roll like that. There's different rolls and it's important to know the structure of that roll before you attack it. At the end of the PDF, there's a few exercises and those exercises are designed to help you develop your chops. 
play them at slow, medium, and faster tempos. Just remember, if you start to feel any tension, stop, relax. You might be playing too much that day. You might have too much tension in your arms. You don't want to be playing through that tension. You want to rest it and relax it to develop more proper technique and uh, muscle. Exercise one. You'll want to play these exercises a little faster as well. Now the other exercises include different accents and accented taps. If you haven't done the control stroke video, I'll link it up in the card up here and as well in the description below, but it's important to have those accents and unaccented notes well defined. Um, so that you're not playing messy or unclear. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this lesson or any of the other videos, hit us up in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.